Hi, it's Lynn Pierce from AgelessLifestyleAfter50.com and today I just wanted to share with you a quick summer health tip. You might be wondering, what are all these containers and bottles and glasses and everything doing here? Well, it's summer and it's more important than ever that you stay hydrated. So, a rule of thumb is that however much you weigh, you should drink half that many ounces of water each day. So um, for me, I'm about 105 pounds, so I would drink basically 100, 102 ounces. Or <laughs> I really have a trouble with math. Okay, 105 pounds, that would be 52 um, ounces of water. So if I drink half a gallon of water a day, I'm good, a little more, even better. It also depends on how much you exercise uh, and how much you sweat because of heat and humidity, wherever it is that you live. So for me, um, I've already given you smoothie recipes and gone over my special super duper tea concoction already. But let's say that you have the tea in the morning, which is about 32 ounces. So that goes in the Yeti and a cup. So these two things together take that 32 ounces. Now a lot of times I'll have a 20 ounce glass of water before I have my tea. But then once the tea is done, I fill this up with water. This is 40 ounces. So there's 72 ounces right there, even with nothing else. Then this iced tea that I have for my lunch, this is, I think this is a 20 ounce glass. So you have 20 ounces in here. I put 12 ounces of um, organic coconut water in my smoothie each day, plus whatever water content you have from the vegetables and the little bit of fruit that I put in there. And then I'm pretty sure that the water content of my wine at dinner counts as well. But as you can see, by knowing how many ounces are in the things that you normally drink throughout the day, and then having a container that you put the rest of the water in that you know you need to drink, is a great way to make sure that you get all your water in spaced all throughout the day. You don't want to be drinking a lot of water after dinner or you'll be up all night. So better to get it in spaced well throughout the day every, every hour. Make sure that you're constantly drinking something, whether it's water, iced tea, uh, coconut water in a smoothie, your tea in the morning, whatever it is. Make sure that you keep hydrated with fluids. And also, uh, especially in the summer when there's so much more heat, make sure that you have enough uh, potassium. Bananas are good for that. And also sodium. So, this is almost empty so you can't see anything here. Here's the new one. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Put sea salt in your food. Depending on what you eat, you might be able to have a, a couple little twists of the, of the salt mill, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but make sure that you're getting high quality Himalayan sea salt with all the minerals and everything in it, not that horrible iodized table salt. That's the salt that's bad for you. So especially in the summer, you need to make sure that you're getting enough salt. So just a quick tip. Make sure to give me some love uh, and follow me or subscribe or whatever it is that you do, depending on where you end up watching this, so that we can connect. I love talking to you, uh, so I appreciate your comments. I will always answer you back. And this is Lynn Pierce. AgesLifestyleAfter50.com. I will see you again soon. Bye.